hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of c if we have c divided by 7 is equals to c minus 7 and we solve this problem for all the values of c so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution of this equation and which of the roots are extraneous root also we solve this problem for two methods i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and here first we move towards our first method and in the first method uh, here you see that uh, the denominator of this term is one uh, and now here we need to cross multiply the terms or in other words you see here uh, the denominators are 7 and 1 now first we need to take the LCM of 7 and 1 and so it is div divisible by 7 and we have 7 1 the 7 and this is 1 and here we have 1 so 7 1 the 7 it means that the LCM of 7 and 1 is 7 so here we multiply the LCM of this term on both of the sides so that when we multiply uh, the LCM on both of the sides it will be written as 7 multiplied by C divided by 7 is equals to 7 multiplied by C minus 7 and uh, further in the next step uh, we need more simplifications and you see here this 7 is cancelled out by this 7 and we get here our C is equals to here we need to multiply 7 on both of these terms and it will be written as 7c minus this is 7 times 7 becomes 49. Okay, so further in the next step we have here we need to move the c to the right hand side and it will be written as this is 7c and when we move the c to the right hand side it will become minus c and here uh, already we have this is minus 49 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now you see here we have this is 7c minus c becomes here 6c minus 49 is equals to 0 and further in the next step uh, here uh, we just uh, move this minus 49 to the right hand side so when you will move this minus 49 to the right hand side it will be written as 6c is equals to 49 so here we need to find the values of c so for this we just divide both of the sides by 6 so when we divide both of the sides by 6 it will be written as in this form so here we divide it by 6 and we divide this term by also 6 you see here this 6 is cancelled out by this 6 and we get here c is equals to this is a 49 divided by 6 so here we get this is the value of c which we get here from first method and now here in the next steps we need to verify that is this value of c uh, is solution or extraneous root uh, so for this we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is c over 7 is equals to c minus 7 and here we substitute the values of c uh, on both of the sides and we check its behavior so when you put this value here it will becomes 49 divided by 6 and this whole divided by 7 is equals to 49 divided by 6 and this is our minus 7 and here uh, we move this uh, 6 in the denominator term and it will be written as 49 over 6 is multiplied by 1 over 7 is equals to here we need to take the LCM of this term and the LCM of this term is 6 and uh, so we get here this 6 is cancelled out by this 6 and we get 49 minus this is uh, 6 times of 7 becomes here 42 and here we cancel these terms and we get here 7 7s are 49 and we will get here 7 divided by 6 is equals to and this is 49 minus 42 and 49 minus 42 uh, becomes here 7 divided by 6 so you see here uh, both of the sides are equal so this means that uh, uh, the value of c is equals to 49 over 6 is satisfied our given question statement 
so this means that the solution set of given question is uh, 49 divided by 6 so this is the our uh, solution which we get here from first method and now we again solve this problem for second method and uh, for second method uh, we need to copy down given question statement here uh, so that the given question statement is c divided by 7 is equals to c minus 7 this is the our given question statement and here uh, we uh, just again solve this problem for the second method and now here in the second method we move the variable terms into the left hand side uh, so that we move the c into the left hand side and it will becomes here c divided by 7 minus c is equals to minus 7 and here uh, we need to take the lcm into the left hand side for this we need to take the denominator of this term is same and you see here the denominator of this term is 7 in order to make the denominator of this term is also 7 now we need to multiply and divide this term by 7 and it will be written as 7c divided by 7 is equals to minus 7 and further in the next step here we need to take lcm of this term and we have the lcm of this term is 7 uh, and you see here this 7 is cancelled out by this 7 and we get this is c minus this 7 is cancelled out by this 7 and we get 7c is equals to this is our minus 7 and now you see here we have this is 7 minus 7c is equals to minus 6c divided by 7 is equals to this is minus 7 and here we move this 7 to the right hand side and it will be written as minus 6c is equals to 7 times 7 becomes minus 49 and now here we solve this problem for the values of c for this we just divide both of the sides by minus 6 so when we divide both of the sides by minus 6 it will be written as minus 6 c divided by minus 6 and minus 49 is divided by minus 6 and you see here this is cancelled out by this and we get our c is equals to this negative sign is cancelled out by negative sign and we get 49 over 6 so you see here in the second method we also get the value of c is 49 over 6 so you see here from both of these methods we get here the same value of c and this is the final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos